elements of accounts. Now, there are five elements of accounts. Five elements of accounts. So the first one is called assets. Assets. What is an asset? You said an asset is a present economic resource, which is what? Control. By the entity as a result of past events. So the word used there is control versus Oh. In the earlier test books, you will see the word own. But we have progressed now. It's no longer own, but what? Controlled. Because you can own an asset, but you are not the one controlling it. For the purpose of a business. So we said, what is an economic resource? We say an economic resource is the right that has the potential to produce economic benefit. Economic benefit here simply means uh, money. That right, you have a right that you can use. And that right can enable you what? Generate money. So once you have that right, you said, and you are controlling that right, then we said it is equal to an asset. Two, liability. A present obligation of the entity to transfer an economic resource. A present obligation of the entity to transfer economic resource as a result of what? Past events. As a result of past events. So, the word here is what? Present obligation. What, an, what is an obligation? You said an obligation is that duty or responsibility that the entity has no practical ability to avoid. So it has to be present, not future. So a good example is salaries and wages. Once you employ people, at the end of the month, the people will be entitled to salaries. And you don't have any practical ability to avoid it. It is a responsibility, it is a duty for the company to pay, whether you make profit or not. Once you have engaged people and they have stayed with you for a month, you are owing them. So that becomes a present obligation. So income. Is now saying that an increase in asset, that is number one, or a decrease in liability, which is number two, that result in e increase in equity other than those relating to contribution from holders of uh, equity claim. So here, the entity concept is playing out here. He's saying that the, the last phrase, other than those relating to contribution from holders of equity claims. So the owners, when the owners of a company 
transfer money into the company. It will increase equity, but it is not an income. It is not an income. That is what he's saying. So it is only something that will increase the rights or decrease the obligation of an entity that will be equal to what? Income. So when you sell something to third party, that is an income. Then when you are owing, let's say 15 Naira, and the person you are owing now gave you a discount of what? Five Naira, so you have to pay 10 Naira now. That reduction, is also referred to us as income. The reduction of your obligation is referred to as what? Income. That is what is defined here. Increase in asset or decrease in liability. So, expense. Expense is here. He's saying a decrease in assets or increase in liability that result in decrease in equity other than those relating to distribution to holders of equity. So it's the same thing that is here, talking here, entity concepts. So if the owners of the company takes out money from the company, it will not be called an expenses. It will not be called an expenses. So an expenses is when you decrease an asset, say depreciation, you reduce the value of the asset, wear and tear, or you increase in liability, you carry out repairs and maintenance on the vehicle, so increasing liability, so that we call expenses. But what the owners of the company take out of the company will not be referred to as uh, expenses. Then, the last one, equity. We say it is the residual interest in assets of an entity after deducting all its liabilities. The residual interest in the assets of the entity after deducting all its liabilities. So the residual interest in the assets of the liability after deducting all of its liabilities. So this one we are saying it is the balance. When you take liability out of assets, then you will not have uh, equity or capital. So this will now lead us to what is called the accounting equations. So we use these five elements to understand the accounting equation. And this accounting equation is very vital. If you don't understand it, you cannot prepare any account. 